But before we let you go, uh, both of you, WNBA legend Sue Bird has announced uh, that she will retire at the end of the 2022 season. She posted this on social media. She said, I decided this will be my last year. I have loved every single minute and still do. So going to play my last year just like this little girl played her first. Rip, I want to talk to you about this. A fellow UConn legend. I will note, Rip Hamilton, she is only three years younger than you. Now 41 years old. What do you make of Sue Bird announcing her retirement at the end of the season? I mean, even though you might expose my age, Amanda, I'm really only 26 years old. <laughs> but Sue Bird is probably the greatest leader in WNBA history. I can remember her and me being a junior in college and her coming in at her freshman year. She was one of them, them girls that had great swag, but she also was the leader on and off the court. So even long nights we had out, you know, at Huskies uh, on, 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 on campus, she'd be the, the one to bring everybody to the side and say, all right, you know what? We got to get back to the dorm rooms because we got practice and we got a game uh, the following day. So unbelievable career, unbelievable person. Uh, I loved everything she's done for the game of basketball at the, at the, at the, at the collegiate level and at the pro level. Uh, just one of the people that you want to take your hats off to, Hall of Fame player on and off the court. And I'm just so proud of, of our storybook type of career. Yeah, and I agree with Rip. Sue's had a wonderful career. She reminds me of a guy, and Rip knows this guy, John Stockton, that I played against. Just tough, hard nose, you know, no pass, dribble, and shoot. Very sac clever on the court, crafty with the basketball. Uh, just had an unbelievable career. Obviously come from a an outstanding program, was always the type of player that was coachable, great leader, r role model in terms of how she played the game, uh, the way she prepared in the offseason. Just a tremendous career. Hats off to her. We're going to miss seeing her play uh, uh, during the, her career in the WNBA. But I will say this, in a one-on-one -on -one match right now, even though they're a couple of years apart, I'm still going with my man, Rip Hamilton. <laughs> Rip, Rip, I've heard you talk about your knee problems. Who would you take between you and Sue Bird right now? Oh, I'll take me. What do you mean? Man? I'll take it me all day long. That's, look, hey, look, mentally I'm still there. Physically, my body might not react the same way. But mentally, nah, it's still not a man on this planet that can beat me one-on-one -on -one or female. I'm going to give it to Sue Bird. She's still playing right now, and I've heard you talk about your back problems. Guys, enjoy <laughs> Game 6. Thank you so much for your insight into what could potentially unfold on the court. Taking a look at the NBA Finals schedules. Yes, Warriors leading 3-2. to two. They could close it out tonight. If Boston does force a Game 7, it would be back in the Bay Area Sunday, tip off at 8 Eastern. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.